Hi guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing all right. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a new vlog. Um, so I just finished shooting some a segment for another vlog that I'm doing, which is like behind the scenes of being in the Canada Mass Choir vlog. And this is the start of a brand new vlog titled The Perks of being a provincial pastor's daughter. The Bible says in Matthew 2 verse 10, it says, when the saw the star, they were filled with joy. Why did I name it this? I think that us pastors children, we talk about the horror and the pain we've been through a lot. And I've been inspired by the Holy Spirit to show you some of the positives. Now, obviously I'm a provincial pastor's daughter. My parents are provincial pastors in the redeemed Christian church of God. So this might not be the reality for a, a pastor's daughter whose parents are not um provincial pastors, but this is my reality. And this is my little way of showing you that these are the perks that come with me being a pastor's daughter in RCCG and hopefully will inspire other you know pastors daughters in ICCG across the globe to share the perks too it's not all negative I think that I've spoken a lot about the perks of being a pastor's child now it's time for me to show you all the perks so this vlog is starting today um today June 7th 2022 I am packing my stuff um because we're leaving tomorrow Thursday, June 8th, and the Holy Ghost service Light Up Canada is happening on June 10th. And my father and the Lord bar me, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy is going to be in town. Um, and so we're leaving early because of some certain responsibilities that my parents have, as well as I'm part of Mass Choir and that's a responsibility. So I'm packing up my outfits for tomorrow stroke stroke um going on to saturday possibly sunday when we come back home and i'm gonna carry y'all through all the perks y'all are gonna see everything let me not talk am i taking sorrow let me not talk there is beauty in being a pastor's child there is look they stress us they bully us they pull us down they do everything we know we know you know but there is beauty we can't lie there are things we enjoy about being pastors children and i'm just here to share with you the little snippet of the things that i enjoy especially when we go to national programs um and yeah so join me as i pack
Hello people, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, so this is the next day. As you guys saw, I finished packing my bag. I might remove a whole bunch of things because we're not leaving today anymore. We're leaving tomorrow morning. Um, we're leaving early tomorrow morning. So I might remove some things because when I was initially packing, I was packing to leave. Um, yeah, I was packing to leave like um, for us to leave today but if we're leaving tomorrow morning then i'm i might not need half the things i've packed not half but i might not need a bunch of them but we'll see so today like my mom left a couple of minutes ago um so i'm going to make this a full-fledged content day i'm going to be shooting kingdom principles now you're going to see how you guys you know you're going to see the behind the scenes of that process later Yes, that should be the next vlog. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be shooting the new season of KP. Today is just a really, really busy day. I also want to do my hair because I'm a minister and I sing in the choir. And um, I'm a minister and I sing in the choir and I cover my hair to sing because that's what we're supposed to do. However, I don't want to wear a turban this year because last year, no, in 2019, I wore a turban. I, you know what, for like what, a couple of consecutive years I wear turbans, but there are better stylish ways of covering one's hair. And that reminds me, I don't think I packed my scarf, my black scarf. So, um, I'm going to try and do my hair in like single braids. It's not going to be tiny, but it's going to be long, like single braids, just so that I have something like I'll use the scarf and like, um to tie like a style on it so i'm still covering my hair but i still look stylish especially because i'm not wearing like we're not wearing suits and stuff um so yeah so i want to do that today i already packed thank god i need to shoot kingdom principles um reloaded at least if i can do the sit down segment that would be amazing and i cannot find my 128 gig sd card and that's where i shoot videos on this sd card i'm using is what i use for pictures because i i like photography and i edit my own pictures so really what i have to do after all of this is transfer all of these files to my laptop so that i can record as many as i can on here it's 10 5 right now so batabatai and thankfully the sun is out so batabatai if i can record all these i should be done by 12 12 ish um and then Maybe I can start on my hair earlier or if I can record the whole season of KP. So I really have two major things that I need to record that revo revolve like my face. I revolve visual. The rest, I can just record audio. Um, so if I can get all of them done today, I'll be the happiest person ever because I was supposed to record this since last week. But if you watch that vlog, you understand why I didn't watch it last week. I mean, I didn't do it last week, so I'm going to do it today because I'm leaving the house tomorrow and we're coming back on Sunday or Saturday and next week will be too late to be recording because I was supposed to be quite since last week. The mind will be visionary. I'm not behind schedule technically, but in my head, because I planned to record last week and I didn't, I'm behind schedule. All right, my people. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are amazing. Bye. Hi, guys. So it was a busy day. I just finished eating. And I've separated my hair into a bit, um, so that I could do like the single braids as mentioned. I'm going to be using, um, Brazilian wool. That's what I use on my hair while listening to a sermon. Grace for finances. Lately, I've been listening to Pastor Victor, um, What's his name? Pastor Victor. His name is not on the video. <laughs> Pastor Victor. Um. Pastor Victor. <laughs> if I could put it on the screen, I'll put it on the screen, but I can't. Uh -huh. Pastor Victor Tekubo. He's, he reminds me of my dad when I hear him preach. Um, but yeah. Right now, it's called Grace for Finances. So that's what I'm listening to because 
We'll have money in Jesus' name. All right. Let me go and do my hair. I'm gonna keep it. I want it long so that I can put it in a bun and it will make sense. So you get. All right, guys. An embodiment of beauty, a product of grace, royalty by blood and spirit, running her own race. She is a shining star, one set apart. She's outstanding, she's smart, and possesses a kind heart. Her spirituality found within God's divinity, a born again child of God who understands her authority one sent to herald his majesty the light of the world she is the salt of the earth she wasn't supposed to get here but god ensured she did she once lost her creativity but within it found her identity royalty by blood and spirit princess Oluwabumi. She is confident in the gift she has to impact her generation with the word of God, with the spoken word, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, and pen and paper. She knows her identity. Uh, Hi everybody. So block. currently it is, it is, 3.52 p.m. on Friday, Thursday, June 9th. We've left home. We are not at the hotel we will be staying at, but we came to stay with our dad at the hotel that he's staying at because um, he's a prayer coordinator and yeah. So um, we're exploring the hotel and um, these are my siblings. This is a very bored brother. Yeah, he's bored. Things and my other sister Hi. and my sister so right now we're just exploring you know, he's, he's literally he's show our head there we go. hi no just stop me <laughs> oh deep hi oh deep yeah, anyway me. so um right now we're just we're honestly just exploring the hotel because we we were honestly tired of being there. I my mom's gonna come and pick us up you, to you. take us to the hotel my, where Daddy Joe is staying, Westy. and then you guys, and then we'll experience the true perks of you know being a provincial pastor's yeah. daughter. What are you doing? In this vlog. Alrighty, gotta Watch go. Bye, guys.
Good morning, everybody. Today is the D Day, June 10, 2022. We're currently at, um, at our hotel, Western or the Western. It's called the Western Hotel and Suites or Hotel and Resorts. One of the two. Um, I'll show you guys. I think I showed you guys us coming in last night, but we were exhausted. We had had a long day. And so, yeah, but I'll show you, um, some more stuff, part of the perks of being a provincial pastor's daughter, but I'm going to give you like, um, when we go out down to have breakfast, I'm going to show you guys, you know, where they prepared just for the provincial pastors and their families. Um, I can do a quick room tour, but the room looks upside down. So, um, cause we're all trying to prepare a member of the choir and the choir needs to get there by nine. We're already late. We haven't had breakfast. We have family of six. Yeah. My parents went out. Um, my dad needs to be at the venue by eight or a couple of minutes earlier because he's, he's the prayer coordinator, right? Um, and then my mom has also been quite busy. So I'm going to get dressed and probably the right next time you see me, I will be dressed and we'll probably go for breakfast. Me too. So until then, I'm really loving the light of the sun. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye. So, we're on our way to go and get food. I know you can't see me properly, no thanks. But let me show you. Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. 